Live from the Script Studios, this is San Diego's news source, 10 News. We were on hand as they were burning uh, this waste. A local company joins the front lines of an effort that has sparked a lot of debate how to dispose of Ebola waste. A representative from that San Diego company is just back from Texas after the first batch of medical waste was disposed of this weekend. And 10 News reporter Michael Chen is joining us now. And Michael, at least one state is trying to stop this waste from entering. And that state's message, keep this type of shipment out. The semi-truck loaded with so-called Ebola waste arrived in Galveston from Dallas on Saturday. A local company's technology was tasked with the job of helping dispose of that waste. The spacesuit-like gear is just one reminder of how contagious Ebola can be. The virus attacks the organs, liquefies parts of the body, blood, and other liquids seeping out of all body openings. The medical supplies used to treat the first U.S. Ebola patient, Thomas Duncan, arrived in this semi at a Galveston facility on Saturday. It was kind of all hands on deck. Andy Bartocci, spokesperson for locally based Envitex, says a company official flew into Texas this weekend. This is a photo of Envitex's scrubbing system after it was installed at the Galveston site earlier this year. Here's how it works. Once the Ebola-tainted supplies are incinerated at more than 2,000 degrees, the scrubber removes all the pollutants from the exhaust gas. We were on hand as they were burning uh, this waste and that they were able to, uh, you know, the system operated flawlessly. The air scrubbers are newly designed after more stringent EPA standards went into effect this month. Somebody is probably more exposed to harmful pollutants pumping gas in their automobile than they would be by living or working around one of these medical waste incinerators. Still, some states don't want that waste. Missouri's attorney general is seeking a court order barring the waste from being shipped to a St. Louis incinerator. Among the concerns is the handling before it gets to the incinerator. As for California, the state has a ban on the burning of medical waste, so any Ebola waste would have to be shipped to another state on public highways. Now, many states like California began cracking down on medical waste incineration because hospitals were sending materials that did not need to be burned, which led to more pollutants. Some are now calling for California to reconsider those restrictions when it comes to Ebola waste. Michael Chen, 10 News. Here is some context on the need for programs to get rid of the waste. In an article today in the LA Times, it says that one Ebola patient being treated in the U.S. generates eight 55-gallon barrels of medical waste every day. 